The West Highland White Terrier, or Westie as it is lovingly known, is a small, courageous, and sociable dog. Initially bred for hunting, they are now one of the most popular companion dogs. And if you want to learn more about this intriguing canine's origin, care requirements, or traits, this Animal Life video is here to fill you in. The Westie hails from the Highlands of West Scotland, its name being an actual reference to its breed, type, colour, and place of origin. In the beginning, the breed was hard to tell apart from other short-legged terriers like the Cairn Terrier, the Dandy Dinmont, and the Scottish Terrier. However, with time, the Westie breed was created separately, and eventually they became a unique breed of their own. The West Highland White Terrier was first raised as a dog for fox and badger hunting, and had a variety of colored coats. It is told that one of the dog's initial breeders, Colonel Edward Donald Malcolm, chose to breed solid white dogs following one of his red-coated dogs being mistaken for a fox and shot when leaving the burrow. The Westie is a small dog standing about 28 centimeters at the withers and not typically weighing more than 10 kilograms. And typically, females are a bit smaller than males. They are a compact and well-built dog with a flat spine, broad shoulders, and a powerful chest. Their legs stand out as being short, muscular, and powerful. The head of the West Highland Terrier is kind of bulky and covered in lots of fur. They have a black nose, and fairly pronounced, their teeth are strong and big relative to the dog's overall size. Their eyes are medium-sized and dark in color. They convey their intelligence and engagement in life. Overall, they have a sweet and kindly face. The tail is one of the most loved traits of the Westie's appearance. It's got plenty of rough fur, which generally stands as straight as it can. It keeps the shape of a small reversed carrot and is between 12.5 and 15 centimeters long. It should for no reason be docked. The most standout characteristic of this breed is its stunning soft white coat, the only color actually recognized. Its coat has two layers, a harder underlayer and a soft, dense outer coat. Courageous, roguish, confident, and energetic, the Westie is possibly one of the most sociable and loving terrier dogs. Even so, we have to remember their background as a strong-willed and intimidating dog designed to hunt dangerous animals like foxes. Though it will depend on the unique animal, the Westie generally interacts well with other dogs due to its even and friendly temperament. Of course, it's essential to socialize them properly from puppyhood. Getting adjusted to their environment, as well as other animals and humans, this dog can be an excellent friend to children, often loving playing for hours and hours. In families with children, it's imperative to socialize them appropriately from a young age, so that both dog and child can understand they need to show respect and play safely. Westies have a habit of both barking and digging, particularly if they are on their own for extended periods of time. This makes them such an ideal companion to active people who like to get outdoors, but they are not well matched to quiet, sedentary individuals. Basically, this is a brave dog with a big personality and quite determined in spite of their size, energetic and affectionate, they always want to be the center of attention. Westie's skin can be fairly dry, and bathing too often can cause skin problems. To prevent this, bathing should happen every one to one and a half months, and you need to use a specialized shampoo for the braid. After washing, you have to pay special attention to dry inside their ears, as this area requires frequent cleaning. The external layer of their coat typically grows to five or six centimeters long, so it's necessary to brush often. Even though their coat upkeep is not high maintenance, it can tend to get dirty easily because of their pure white color. This is how come it is suggested to clean their muzzle and legs once they are done eating and playing outdoors. A useful trick is to use non-toxic baby wipes to cleanse these areas. It's also imperative to focus on the dog's tear ducts, cleaning around the rim of their eyes to prevent staining. 
In regards to exercise, they are not a dog that requires large amounts, but they do need at least two walks a day and mental games to keep engaged. Because of their size, they can exercise inside, but they do enjoy outdoor activities. As well, it is imperative to provide enough company to fulfill their outgoing and affectionate personality. As we have previously said, the Westie is a dog which usually gets along very well with other animals and humans, assuming they have been socialized properly. It is essential we do not bring them home prior to being two months old, as this time with their mother and siblings is needed for their well-being. After they are home with you, you must keep going with their socialization process in the environments they will get stressed. It should be understood that their powerful hunting instinct means they have to be kept distanced from small animals as they could injure them, though not every dog is the same regardless of breed, and some might be capable of tolerating them if socialized in the right way. The powerful personality of this dog has caused many to assume they are challenging to educate, but their smarts mean they learn fast when taught positively with methods like clickers, treats, and rewards. They do not necessarily react well to outdated training methods based on punishment and negative reinforcement. Also, Westies can be pretty vocal. It's imperative to educate them to control their barking appropriately. The Westie is a dog that is on high alert and aware of their territory and prepared to protect it. It means they are an excellent guard dog. As puppies, Westies are especially at risk of craniomandibular osteopathy a disease leading to abnormal growth of the jaw. It's genetic and will have to be treated properly with veterinary assistance. Because of the nature of their skin, it's a dog highly at risk of dermatitis, especially atopic dermatitis. Additional diseases this dog may fall prey to include globoid cell leukodystrophy, leg calf's perth disease, ear infections, cataracts, and patellar dislocation. To prevent and identify any of these, it's best to visit the veterinarian regularly, keep their vaccination schedule up to date, and deworm them properly. If we provide all the care they require, the West Highland White Terrier is a pup long-lived that can be with us from 12 to 16 years. And that's our video. Do you also love the Westie as much as we do? Let us know in the comments below, like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to learn about more awesome dog breeds, and we'll see you next time.